In this video, let's give a quick overview of what you would see on the screen. And we'll start in the bottom right hand corner. This is the actual menu button. And so again, you can do things from the knobs and buttons on the front panel. But of course, you can come in and you can change things within the, um, the display itself. Um, if you scroll, you can see that there's a number of different areas that you can jump into and you can set up different capabilities inside of there just by clicking on it. And then of course, if you click on it, it'll go away. You have the full waveform display again. On the bottom left hand, you're going to see uh, the different channels that are available. So channel one is turned on right now, two, three, and four are turned off. You can of course turn them on or off here or on the front panel. Um, it'll give you the volt per division settings. It'll give you the attenuation ratio, the coupling. If you have something like a bandwidth limit turned on, that would be shown down here as well. As you we move up the left hand side, you can see uh, where the actual zero point is for the waveform. Um, you can also see um, just along next to the graticules, the different trigger points for, um, or the trigger level, excuse me, for the different triggers. Uh, it'll pop up as you move it along. And of course, again, you can move that as you go through, or you can actually um, use a trigger level knob itself. In the top left hand corner, there is a quick access. And so you can go into an undo, which is very nice if you happen to hit something that you didn't mean to. Um, if you want to delete different things, um, you can use the delete button. Screenshots, zoom, FFT, annotations, um, there's a demo mode on the demo units. Um, you can actually change what you show up here in this toolbar. And so um, you have a number of different options and you can customize that and you can have up to eight of them. Um, as we move towards the right hand side, uh, so this is where you're going to get most of the information on what the settings are for the oscilloscope. So again, you can see what the trigger source is, you can see what the trigger level is, um, whether we're triggering on a, a positive pulse or a negative pulse. Um, in addition, you can see that we are in normal trigger mode. Um, our sample rate is at two and a half giga samples per second. Um, our time base is at 100 microseconds per division. We don't have any um, position uh, moving to the left or the right. Um, you can see that we're in run mode right now versus say stop mode. And then you can see that we're in sample mode um, versus something like high res or averaging, that type of thing. In the top right hand corner, of course, you get the time. Um, and then this is, I have the uh, LAN hooked up. and. Um, as with most things on the front panel, when you click on them, you can adjust them or see the information. And so if I click on this, it's going to show you my IP address. And then, of course, if we want to dive deeper, we can just hit the, the little wheel to go into that. So that's a quick overview of the front panel and how everything works.